friends and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris and I'm the Batman Statue Collector and here I have a very very unique review today and this is all thanks to our friends over at Sideshow Collectibles who donated this for our incredible Rogues Gallery Live 100 and the winner actually was so kind to say hey Chris go ahead and review this for the channel and so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. This of course is the Dark Side Maquette. This is 1-4 scale and it's an epic epic piece. I did see this one at San Diego Comic-Con. Very, very awesome piece. And so I wanted to show you kind of the box first. I wanted to show you the awesome art. Obviously you have dark side here, some really, really cool graphics, a lot of color on this one. And then as you spin it around, you're going to see that the graphics do continue all the way around, which is very, very cool. Kind of this Cosmos type, uh, you know, aesthetic. Very, very cool. Obviously you have the dark side logo on the back. And then, of course, like I said, you have the awesome, awesome statue. Now, I know that you are not here to look at a box, so we're going to get into the unboxing part of it, and then, of course, the review. And if you are, of course, new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I think you're going to enjoy the content. Thanks again to Sideshow for letting us do this, and away we go. All right, so I've untaped the, uh, the top part here, or at least cut through it, and let's see what we get inside here. Uh, obviously... The top portion is the body itself, which is awesome. I'll show you guys inside of there like that. Oh, look at that paint. Absolutely incredible. All right, so that's the top of the tray. It's literally just the whole body, and he is massive. I can tell you that, and heavy. Uh, let me open the bottom tray. So, uh, bottom tray is obviously going to have the, uh, the base itself. Just as how cool is that? That's awesome. And then, of course, we're going to have the, uh, the head portraits here. Great Kirby style, very very cool. We got both portraits there, and then this is obviously going to be his awesome hand. Some people call it the Cheetos hand. I think it actually looks way cool. It's not Cheeto-y at all. <laughs> looks great. Looks uh, very powerful actually. Uh, very very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set him up. And we'll get the all review right, going. Guys, so here he is all set up on the table. And I got to tell you, he is freaking awesome. He just has this awesome presence to him. Very, very cool from Sideshow. Um, again, I did see this at San Diego. It, it just was awesome. It was just a massive, massive piece. And it's really, really cool to have it here in the Batcave. And I want to talk about it, tell you a little bit about the statue as well. So this is sculpted by, of course, the uh, the icon, uh, Martin Canale, uh, also Richard Luong on the design, uh, Ed, Ed Bradley on the paint. Very, very cool uh, in terms of aesthetic with this piece. Um, and it's just very, very cool to see in person. Is again, it's just so massive. But let's start with the base like we always do. I'm really impressed with the overall paint. I feel like this looks really good. It definitely makes it feel kind of like a muted lava. You know, it's kind of underneath the rock. I think they did a nice job with that. Now, of course, I do have a bright light shining on this so you guys can see some of the detail. But I do think that they did a really, really nice job with that overall. Um, there is this area of orange. Uh, I feel like this is maybe a little bit too orange. I think that there could have maybe been a little bit of color differentiation here. I think there's a little bit of red along the outside, but I think this right here along the rock looks better than it does where this has been cut off. Obviously though, this is meant to be really, really hot. So a little, just a little nitpick there, but again, I feel like this especially looks really great. I think the rock work looks really great um, all the way around as we go. Um, you know, just very, very nice detail. Looks good. Could have maybe used a little bit of weathering here and there, but again, you're not your focus isn't here. If it is, then there's a problem with the statue. Um, again, obviously you have this cut off here. This this is not red, um, whereas on the other side it's meant to be like it's down in the lava, which is cool. Uh, the justice itself is really nicely sculpted. I love that. I think it re looks really great. Obviously, uh, part of the Hall of Justice. Very very cool. We have all the nice detail there. And then as we go into the actual figure itself, you're going to see lots of great detail. Again, fully sculpted on this, but you can see some really nice weathering on the boots. Um, you can see the wrinkles in the, uh, the, you know, what would be the cloth, but again, it is fully sculpted. Really nice. It's got some uh, incredible attention to detail. I like the, uh, the knee protectors there on both sides. It looks great the way that they are. This is definitely kind of like a Jack Kirby type style, which I really appreciate. Again, Martin Canale, absolutely master sculptor. Um, in just about everything he does, I've loved all of his work. Just really cool to, to see another one of his pieces in person. Uh, you see some nice, it's not just gray, there is some different colors here. Um, 
in his actual skin, it's like cracked and really super dry looking. I think they did a really nice job with the different colors there. You can see the muscle shading there. Looks nice. I really like this. You can really see the white weathering. See that on the bottom of his, uh, you know, his uniform or outfit, whatever you want to call it, his armor. Uh, definitely is awesome the way that they did the white on the bottom. It definitely makes it look weathered and old, which is nice. I love the fist in the back. Again, that iconic pose where he has his, you know, fists in the back. Looks great. Great attention to detail there on the back as well. You can see the muscle definition. Uh, we always talk about Daniel Bell's anatomy. This is also a really cool anatomy. Uh, some areas are maybe a little bit exaggerated, obviously. Again, it's that uh, comic book style. It's definitely not a realistic, necessarily a realistic style. Um, but I think that, uh, again, Canale did a phenomenal job. The paint looks really good. This is Ed Bradley here on paint, as I mentioned. Got some really nice weathering detail. You can see the, you know, all the little dents and nooks and crannies there um, for this guy that's, you know, been around for a really long time doing a lot of damage, been in a lot of battles and wars. Very, very cool. Again, I just love that, that attention to detail. Um, this is a sizable statue. Again, I just kind of want to zoom back here before we get closer. Uh, a very sizable statue. This is 24 inches tall, uh, depth 16 inches by, I'm sorry, depth is 10 inches by width of 16 inches. So 24 by 16 by 10, very, very massive piece. Um, just really, really cool. Uh, let's look at the, uh, the hand here. So again, a lot of people said that it's kind of like a Cheetos effect. It's definitely not in person. Um, I want to, you know, make sure you guys know that because that was something I thought too, you know, when I saw the photos, but when you actually look at it in hand, it really feels like it's glowing, like that there is a, um, you know, a power there, um, a nice reflective quality. I think they did a really nice job on the paint. It's definitely not like flaky or <laughs> Cheeto-y, if you will. It's definitely really well painted. I think they did a really nice job and it definitely adds a pop of color because just, there's just a lot of blue and gray. But then you have this great pop of color there on his hand and it just makes him look even more evil, which I think is really cool. This right here is the regular portrait that we're looking at. I think they did a really great job with that portrait. You can see the red beady eyes. Uh, again, that Kirby style, which I love. Very, very nice. Um, and it just looks cool. I mean, look at that. Look how cool that looks. It's really awesome. Very intimidating looking. Again, I love the fist back behind. I just love this pose. I think it's really awesome. And I, I think it's just a very, very cool statue. Uh, a lot of presence to it. I think it's awesome. Now this, what we're looking at right now is the regular, basically. There's going to be an, a swap out portrait. The, the one I have here is the exclusive uh, that our winner is uh, gonna be taking home, which again, congratulations to our winner. Thanks everyone again that watched Rogues Gallery Live. And again, thanks to Sideshow so much for um, sending this out <clears throat> to give away to someone. Just what an awesome, awesome gesture that was. Sideshow continues to be uh, an amazing part of the community. Absolutely incredible. They keep bringing us all these awesome statues. And statues from other companies too, which is awesome. Okay, so again i'm just going to do a quick pan around here so you guys can kind of get the full feel of this with this particular look again this is my favorite portrait um for sure but i do want to show you that exclusive portrait as well so uh, let's swap that out all right so here is the second portrait uh, definitely a little bit more stern a little bit more determined pissed off definitely gives it a little bit of a different vibe for sure on the statue i still like this one a lot but i do prefer that uh, one we just saw again let me kind of show you them side by side so you can kind of see the difference here between the two but they're both really really awesome but again, I, I mean, come on, that one's just really cool. But anyway, this is the exclusive 655 USD right now. Uh, Sideshow is offering free US shipping, which is incredible because uh, this is a heavy freaking box. So, uh, you know, you're definitely going to save a little bit of money there. Um, 640 for the regular. Uh, as far as I know, both are still in stock right now at Sideshow. So, I mean, you might as well spend a little bit of extra money, get the extra portrait. That way you can kind of swap it out. Um, but let me give you again a quick pan. So you can see the whole thing from top to bottom. Really, really a cool statue. 
again, overall, I, I think that it deserves a high grade. I think it has a lot of presence to it. It's definitely bulky. It's a, a presence piece for sure in your collection. Um, if you are a comic book collector, if you're a DC fan, uh, if you collect Superman or any of the Justice League, I think this would be a no-brainer piece. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I think the only nitpicks I have really as a reviewer is just maybe the rocks could have maybe used a little bit more here, pizzazz here and there. But other than that, I think that and, and maybe this, this, this area could have maybe been a little darker, maybe. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm nitpicking here. But overall, I think it's a really awesome statue. I highly recommend it. Uh, I, I was wowed by it at uh, San Diego uh, when I saw it there, the sideshow booth. Just really cool piece. Again, a lot of presence, and it's massive. It's a massive, massive piece. So hopefully those dimensions that I gave you uh, helped a little bit if you're you know, contemplating this one. But great paintwork on him. Um, big muscles. <laughs> Again, it's Martin Canale. I mean, what else is there? I mean, two of Sideshow's best collect uh, you know, sculptors are Martin Canale, Daniel Bell, obviously. Um, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Guillermo Barbiero, some of the... Argentinian uh, that we've talked about, that connection, um, which is just so strong at Sideshows, incredible um, Argentinian um, sculptors. Very, very awesome. So again, either way you go, you can't go wrong. It's just awesome. Love this. Again, I want to thank Sideshow so much uh, for sending this out uh, to give away. Just such a cool gesture. Really, really awesome. All right, guys, so there you have an incredible look at the Dark Side Maquette from Sideshow Collectibles. Again, I want to give Sideshow a major thanks for sending this out to give away. Just, just such an incredible company. They've always been so kind to our channel. I cannot thank them enough. Please support them by using the link down below. Uh, again, just thank you guys so very much for checking out this video. I do want to turn it over to you. What do you guys think of it? Is this something that you're considering picking up because of this review? We always like to hear that. Um, but let me also know if you already have this one and love it. Um, and tell the collectors down below why they should get it as well. Um, because it's always, you know, as a collector, as a buyer, we're always thinking, okay, is this worthy? Is this something that's going to be cool in my collection? So, you know, you don't have to just take my word for it. I want to hear your words as well. So anyway, the awesome, awesome piece. I really enjoyed this one. It was really, really cool. But I'm getting ready to ship it off now. I'm getting ready to ship it off to our winner. Again, thanks everybody that tuned in for Rogues Gallery Live. You're all absolutely incredible. And just thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. If you are new here, please hit that like button, subscribe. Please consider hitting the join button down below for early access to the brotherhood of the bat right here, baby. So anyway, thank you guys so very much. I'll see you soon right here in the bat cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.